Hi, my name is Lendi Hazel Ruth Lugatiman from ME2B. So, before I do any explanations on my program and how I built it, allow me to run and play this so that you will be able to have an idea of how I build, um, I mean, of what my program is all about. So, enter the birth month, example 1, and the birthday, example 20. So there, it displays the information needed um, here, this is slow print and this is a pause. Slow print, um, by using slow print function, I use string and pointers. It's also having a pause because I use sleep time on my program. And sleep time again, then sleep time. It display um, this displays my program displays a general information of what the this zodiac sign astrology is all about so for example you want to know more or you want to see more you just write what you wanted to know according to the number here stated so for example three then here it displays what the program provides so you want to try again for example no and get out of the program. So let's start the explanation. So include sdio.h. This declares the um, the function that is used inside here and the other data types. And also I use, aside from that, the hashtag include windows.h, which is used to declare the console functions, in which I used in running and building this program. By the way, console functions are set console text attribute and this windows.h also runs other data types which in my case is where's that this the system cls so yes it runs that this is a declaration of global variable and this is also a declaration of the choice which i will be using in the if else and switch and this the void slow print um using the void because it returns normally but does not provide value to its color. So slow print is a function in which it can be used as replacement for the standard printf. The difference between slow print and printf is slow print doesn't put the information on the screen immediately. So what, like you see before, um, it passes, um, it calls the value letter by, I mean it calls the word letter by letter so if you're wondering what kind of function call um, slow print is it's called by value that is why i'm using a string and pointer so the very unique thing about slow print is that it can't run without a set time so here and brief explanation in here is very important because it, it initializes i here as zero and sets the condition in which this for every character of each string displayed according to time set so and this is the iteration of i which is the repetitive statements um, in which in my program's case is the do while loop so here this is very important because this is the reason why my program has colors. So console screen, this, this is the, um, the structure that represents the console information. Um, this is especially based on color. And this, the word saved attributes, um, saved attributes that set as default variable, um, having the function to reset its color. And this, this one, it retrieves information about the specific console screen buffer. Um, this is all information also based on color uh, and console info. It's calling up above here. And since this is based on color, so this is also calling up based on color. So here it's very important because save attributes is equal to console info or word attributes. Um, it shows that the saved attributes the color, the size, etc. will be the same throughout the program. So here is the start of the coloring of the program. So here it's blue. If I run the program, you can see that it's blue there. And when you're putting a color here, 
you also have to write here so it's like when you open something you have to close it so this will be the closing of those of that kind of opening in or if you don't like your program to be all blue then you have to write this and this is a sleep time the counting of this by the way if you want to know is when um, you may wonder it's only five seconds it's not five thousand actually it's the counting it's one thousand it's five thousand right so it's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. It's voila! It's already started the program. I also input it and I mean I wrote it also the program, also the do while I mean, so that when the user wants to um, retry the program again, um, he or she wouldn't be facing this slow um, screen. I mean, slow display. My gosh okay so here is the start of the pro um, uh, the start of the Aquarius and it's um, as you can see there's um, the very basic color here is red green and blue there's no yellow but in my programs case I wrote it as yellow um, the zodiac sign drawing is yellow because there because I combined it foreground intensity foreground red and foreground green so there's no yellow color but it's a mixture of this and I don't know why like okay just it's just a program anyway so it's just a matter of copy and paste along the 12 astrology sign also here it's a switch for the cases um, this is what I used in the see more so back to what I was talking about this is all a matter of copy and paste among the 12 astrology signs and then you just have to change the information in each so let's go to the ending because this is 1000 um, almost 1300 codes so the ending here it's another do while this is the third loop as you can see up above there's the first loop I'm going to show you here there's that the first loop the second loop and here the third loop so this third loop resides after the statement above the statements above are executed this loop will then be executed so it's very long um, this explanation I'm gonna explain it shorter um, if you put Y big letter or small letter loop is continued and it goes back to the primary loop and ask the user to input another value again but if you put small letter N or big letter N this loop with its primary loop is stopped hence ending the program 